happy Sunday at the cottage, everyone. Hope you're all doing grand. <laughs> well, things came up, so we had to change our barbecue plans. So we didn't have it this weekend. We're going to have it next weekend. So I took a couple days off. Uh, I'm starting to give myself grace. If uh, it's, it's a lot to film every day. So I thought, well, I'm going to give myself grace when I want to be off and just sit and coloring doing puzzles I'm going to do it yeah so I don't promise a video every day but anyways yeah I, we've changed our plans and our barbecue will be next weekend yeah anyways it's Sunday at the cottage so I thought I'd make a nice Sunday breakfast if you want to join us so I'm going to make some breakfast bowls and I'm using up my potatoes that I gotta use up and uh, I might have a few extra hash browns for dinner I have some chicken we cooked up on the fire uh, yeah yesterday so and we also chicken and steak I cooked on the fire well I didn't cook it Bruce cooked it on the fire so and we had Caesar salad with that so I have uh, I could put we could have hash browns with our chicken tonight because we're having ch leftover chicken so what I'm doing is I'm just going to microwave these in the microwave for about eight to ten minutes and uh, then I'm going to cut them up and I have a bacon grease pan that I'm going to put them on uh, yeah, so we're going to make some breakfast bowls to start our Sunday. It was, it's kind of good that we changed our, our uh, plans till next, this Saturday, because it rained yesterday. We would have been rained out, so it doesn't look like rain this Saturday. So let me get these in the microwave. I'm going to cut up an onion too to put with the uh, to put with the hash browns. Ooh, my onion's going bad. We can't have that now, can we? Oh no! It didn't. I just bought this too. Son of a gun! There's nothing worse than that. When you buy, just buy produce and it's bad. This is why you like to grow your own. That's rotten. This whole onion is gone. Okay, this one better be good. like that. Come on. Now. Bruce has been busy all weekend working in the yard and stuff and getting his pots cleaned out. And, uh, he's got his, his room all set up in his greenhouse to start his seeds. So yeah, he's been busy. Not like Michelle, sitting around doing puzzles. <laughs> That's okay. We all deserve that. I'm going to tell you, we all deserve that. Downtime. Yes. Cut her out here. So, what did you guys do this weekend? Let me know in the comments. I hope. 
hope nobody got snow. That would suck. So I just flipped my potatoes over. I, I got my bacon grease pan here. Somebody wants to say hello, I think. Somebody's a happy camper this Sunday morning. <laughs> Sandy, are you so happy? Onion, but onion is very good for you. Yeah. Keeps the viruses away. wanted to say hello but he wanted to come and attack my feet that's what he wanted to do yeah you hear that noise is that a potato Put them on for a few more minutes. I fill up my water. I make my own ice. gotta get new ice trays though. Mine had a holes in them and they were leaking. It's not like we don't have enough eggs. <laughs> Our girls are still laying and we shut off the brooder light. Yes, we did. I gotta show you. I took on down all the Christmas decorations out there and cleaned the porch up. Yeah, I'll bring you out there later. So People were telling me, oh, oh, where I put it right here. Oh, that's not a candle holder. That's an egg holder. And I said, no. <laughs> I was like, no, it's a candle holder. There's no way, way an egg will stand up in there. That's not big enough. But you were right. You guys were right. And I had a soft boiled egg. You were right. I was wrong. <laughs> Yeah, I never thought it was an egg holder. I thought it was a candle holder for some odd reason. <laughs> okay, so my potatoes went for 10 minutes in the microwave. And I'm just going to cut them up. Just like hash browns. But these are homemade, not from the freezer. No, I hate when you go to a restaurant for breakfast, okay? You go for breakfast and you get bacon and eggs and hash browns and they bring you, you can tell, you, you can tell they're these frozen hash browns. You know what I mean? Like if, if I had a restaurant and was serving breakfast, I would be cutting up potatoes like this for my hash browns for people that come in for breakfast. 
sorry, but those frozen hash browns just don't cut it. This is why we never go out for breakfast because they don't do it right. They don't cook your bacon enough. It's not cooked enough for me. I like crispy bacon. I like homemade fresh cut potatoes for hash browns. And of course, of course, of course, of course, we get fresh. Oh no, my tripod just broke. Oh no. Oh, you're kidding me. I don't know if it'll work, you guys. <laughs> okay, I have to have you leaning on something. Oh no. My tripod leg just broke. I love this tripod. <sighs> oh no. Look you guys. This is that my handheld one. I love it. And it broke. I don't know if Bruce can fix that or not. Anyways, what back to what I was saying, and I love, and I love fresh laid eggs from the yard. Yeah. So, this is the reason why we never go out for breakfast. It just doesn't compare to Michelle's homemade. You know, about done with Subway. That sub was terrible. So over takeout these days. It's so disappointing. It's so it's it's just not the same. The portions are smaller. They're trying to charge you more for less. It's cold half the time. I don't know. It's just getting more I get older, the more I'm over with take out and rather just do things myself. Oh Zen, stop it! Okay, let me get these cut up and I'll put them on the pan over here. I got baking grease and they got my onions. Okay, now I'm gonna spice them up a bit. Onion powder, garlic powder, let's go with some paprika. And some TPQ. All purpose. How about we do a little slap your mama? A little bit? <laughs> oh, jeez. Zen, give it a rest. Somebody must be up. Okay. I'm not going to overdo it now. And some salt and pepper. And 
some garlic plus. I'll spice those babies up. Okay. My spatula. Give it a good stir. In the oven, they're going to go for about 20 minutes. After 10, I flip them around. Yeah, they'll be all nice and ready for our breakfast bowl. Okay, I'm going to do a couple eggs. I'm I've gone 30 minutes on the potatoes. I like them crispy. Okay, cooking some eggs. I'm two for Bruce and one for me. And then we'll put those eggs on top. Okay, let's make our bowls. Our breakfast bowls. bacon on there. Okay, now for the eggs. <laughs> that one broke a little bit. That's okay. We'll put some salt and pepper on there. A little more sprinkle of bacon on top. There we go. Let me turn you around. There we are. Breakfast bowls. I don't have any juice today, but uh, that's okay. There's Mama's, and then there's Papa's. We're ready to eat. Okay, I gotta figure out a tripod here. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Sometimes if I put you right on the table, you can't hear me very good. Let's give this a try, shall we? Do you say good morning, hon? Did I? I don't think you did. No. Let's break the egg. Look at, look at you guys. Break the egg. Okay. Good morning, people. A little bit of everything in there. First bite. Mmm. 
good. I'm going to add my ketchup now. <laughs> Zen, you can't eat this. There's no toast this morning. You don't need toast every day, hon. A little bit of ketchup. Mm hmm. Hmm. That's so good. <laughs> Give it a try. My no. body's gonna shut down. Huh? My body's gonna shut down. Why? No bread. That tastes oh, good. So good. Isn't that good? Cold yeah. Okay, I'll show you my puzzle I've been working on. I got this puzzle from a subscriber a while ago. And uh, I plan on framing it. Like, uh, I'm going to uh, glue it. Yeah. <coughs> huh? What's that? This is how much I got done so far. It's a pretty simple puzzle, but I'm sure grateful for it. And I thank my subscriber that sent me this. I've been waiting to do it because I'm going to be gluing it. Putting it somewhere. I'm sure I'll find a spot for it. Yeah. Okay. After I'm done eating, I'm going to make a lunar cake, hun. Right on. <laughs> I'm last of the rhubarb in the freezer. Oh yeah. Because it's what it's almost what season? Huh? What season is it almost? I don't know. Growing season. Rhubarb. Oh. I'm sure the rhubarb will be coming. Yeah, it'll be coming this year, probably bigger this year. What's your plans today? Just to sit. And relax. Come on, tell them your plans. And do a puzzle. <laughs> no, I'm going to go outside and see the girls, too. Tell them your plans. Okay. What? what I'm doing today. Mm. So good. Sorry. Is, uh, hopefully. Speak up. Hopefully. Today, I'll be getting some plants planted. Yeah. Because I was out there cleaning last night and organizing things so I can uh, start planting. Planting seeds, eh? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, there we go. That's his plans today. I'll, if I'm out there, I'll show you. my room's done. Yeah. I put my heaters in there yesterday. I took the heaters from, if anybody ever builds a room, I was thinking to myself, I'm going, you need heat in there. Not thinking that I got two heaters, one in the chicken, and or one in the chicken house, one in the Jethro's pen. Everybody's looking for food. I better go feed them. Oh, I got my puzzle done, you guys. Look at that. <laughs> I love it. Every bird around here is on there. Yeah. Love it. Now we better get in the kitchen and cook Bruce's lunar cake. Okay, guys. We're going to make our rhubarb lunar cake. This is a recipe from Bruce's mom. Uh... Bruce's dad, he had a huge garden, and he, he had his rhubarb plant. I remember being so big. It was ho huge. And Bruce's dad had a big garden, just like Bruce. He was very good in the garden. So uh, Bruce's mom would always make this lunar cake. And I remember the guys would get so excited when she made her lunar cake. Yeah, so let's make Bruce's mom's lunar cake with rhubarb. The last of the rhubarb, this is from our garden, and uh, the last bag of rhubarb I have in the freezer. But 
you know what? The rhubarb's coming. It's almost rhubarb season. <laughs> so let's start with a one cup of one and a half cups of sugar and a half a cup of butter. And we're just gonna blend this up with our mixer. Bring back old memories of Bruce's mom and, and Bruce's dad's rhubarb bush. Oh, yeah. He was very good at the gardening, just like Bruce. Bruce learned a lot of his stuff from his dad. Yeah. He cherished those memories forever. And the lunar cake always reminds us of Bruce's mom making it. Yeah. So let me just cream this butter and sugar together and I will be back. Okay, to this we're going to add one egg, Oops. <laughs> no shells, <laughs> and one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to use my vanilla, my vanilla bean paste. It's going to be wonderful. Oop. You can use regular vanilla. Okay. Just gonna mix that up. Okay, in here I have two cups of flour, half a teaspoon of salt, and one and a half teaspoons of baking soda. Okay. Then you're gonna need one cup of buttermilk, which I have right here. Now I buy my, I buy the powder to make my buttermilk, but if you don't, you could uh, add vinegar to your one cup of uh, milk. And it leave it sit on the counter for ten minutes. It'll become buttermilk. Okay, so I'm going to add this a little bit at a time. Perfect cake to have at Sunday dinner if you have to bring something to Sunday dinner this is a beautiful cake to bring it's nice and simple and easy yeah I'm going to add my rhubarb now. Now, for my rhubarb, you need four cups of rhubarb, which I have here. But I put flour in it. I mixed flour in it so it doesn't all, they don't all stick together. You can use frozen rhubarb or fresh rhubarb. I do both. So in goes the four cups of rhubarb. Let me know in the comments below if you have a rhubarb plant growing in your yard, in your garden. And you never know what to do with it, you stay tuned. 
We're going to make lots of rhubarb delights. Yeah. This is the cake. My favorite. Yeah. Okay, so we got our pan here. And uh, just your regular cake pan. We're going to pour it in our cake pan. Fresh homemade rhubarb cake. It's wonderful. Guys, stop buying the box mixes. When these, when cake is so easy to make, and there's so many different cakes you can make, you don't need a box mix. All you need is to have basically on hand is your flour, sugar, your raking stuff. And then you're all set. Keep that in the uh, pantry and you're all ready to go every time you want to make, make something. Okay, now here I have what goes in the cake is the topping, which is one cup of brown sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon, and one quarter cup of butter. And I'm just going to mix this up with my hands. We're going to put this on top. Always remember Bruce's mom had dessert. She made it or she bought it. <laughs> and Bruce always tells me how how they used to fight over the donuts and stuff. <laughs> yeah. One brother would eat it all if you didn't get there fast enough. <laughs> then we're just gonna sprinkle this on top, you guys. All over your cake. And it'll go down, it'll sink into the cake, and it'll just be lovely. This is Bruce's, one of Bruce's favorite desserts that his, like I said, that his mom made that I like to make for him. Yeah. It's so easy and simple. Okay. We're going to get this in the oven, a 350 oven preheated for 45 to 50 minutes. We'll see you when this comes out of the oven. Okay, you guys, our cake is done. We'll give it a try after dinner tonight. Listen to Zen. Zen! He's standing by the bathroom because Nate's taking a shower. What are you doing? Bruce is in for lunch. We're going to go out with you when you go back okay. out. I made lunch for us. Yeah. Not a charcuterie board, but the thing is, we just wanted something to snack on until yeah. dinner. We didn't want to ruin dinner because no. she kicked my ass. Just got a little plate here. And I'm coloring now. <laughs> I enjoy coloring in... And doing puzzles. What can I say? I oh, here's a few chips. Zen wanted some, so I put them some there. Okay. Why? I wish you enjoyed greenhouse. Oh. Because it speed up things so much better. You're the gardener in the house, uh -huh. hon. I was telling everybody when I made the lunar cake how your dad, his rhubarb, remember how big his rhubarb used to be? Mm -hmm. And then your mom always made the lunar cake with the rhubarb, right? Mine was big last year. Yeah, ours was sure. really big. For sure. I said you're a lot like your dad with your garden. Yeah, I'm sure. And you're really good with the garden, too. Yeah. Yeah. 
though your dad was a good gardener. Uh, he always, I mean, his dad was a good gardener. Was he? Yeah. My grandfather? Yeah. We'd go there. I don't know if it was him or my grandmother, but his whole garden, it was a huge garden, I remember. Mm hmm And he had all, uh, all the way around the whole garden, he had a hollyhocks, about 10 feet tall. When do we plant those? Because oh, we got growing right now. Huh? I got yeah. hollyhocks growing right in the yard right now. Yeah, they always come back. Well, because a, a subscriber sent us those hollyhocks, and she always asks, if, "In are are your hollyhocks growing?" Yeah. I don't think I planted them last year. Because we got some going up in the, uh, but I want to plant more. We got, we get so many out there, they just come out of nowhere. There's but we're going to plant some more of those. Hmm? Got that one lot from last year that come up again. A couple of them. Yeah. The white ones. Sandy, are you getting some? There you go. Now get lost. Where's Butter? I've seen her escape. Butter, <laughs> come on, <laughs> come on, oh, there's another one, come on, <laughs> you two, oh boy, what are you guys doing out here, let's go see daddy, what do you got to say, really, really, she wants her hugs, guys. Come on. Mama hugs. Give me my hugs, okay? You happy? You with mom? Yeah? Come on, Butter. Come on. Butter, you want to have some wheelworms? There you are. There we go. The girls got some upgrades. They got some chickens on their coop now. <laughs> they got a rocking chair. Yeah, I got these chickens at a yard sale one time. And I thought, well, I'm going to put them out here. Yeah. They got their farm fresh sign over there. Yeah, they got a little upgrade. Look at that. This is uh, Bruce's little grow room he added on to his greenhouse. Oh, he's got a you got a mirror in there, hun. Yeah. I don't want to get on the mirror. Oh. Bruce will show you around here. Oh, I'm in the mirror. Huh? Turn the mirror. Well, show him your stuff. You can leave it there. Oh, like the reflex the light. Show them yes. your little. This is an add-on where he can start his seeds. Yeah, and there's he doesn't have to start them in all the this. House. All this stuff will be on shelves up yeah. here. But uh, tell him you got all that free. I vented it. Yeah. Everything was free. The only thing I had to buy was a, about maybe eighty dollars worth of lumber, but that's all pallet wood on the roof, and it's fully insulated. It's two inch on this wall. And the other wall's got two inch, or no, four inch, sorry. And then this outer wall I made, oh, sorry. But this outer wall here with the vent, that's wow. two inch. And then the floor I put like a membrane on it so the water don't repel. And then if you have need heat, heat's a problem. Buy yourself a couple of these. That's from the chicken uh, pen. And then I got one under here. So if it gets cold, because I'm going to have plants down here. But I started today, anyways, filling them. That's all with uh, plant starter. Oh, yeah. 
He's got a door on there. Oh, yeah. Show it closed the door. It's an old door. Yeah, and then he's got... I got to put something to hold it. He got more windows in this year. Some windows, right? Yes, I got eight windows and okay. I need another eight. You need and another I got, eight? Uh, Stop it! What is it of styrofoam? Oh, Jeez. Don't look at this stuff. It's going... It's going to be I still got to put styrofoam in the other side. But it's been a work in progress through yeah, the years. This is all fully insulated. For free. So. Oh, Jesus. Marshmallow. Gosh. I forgot, I forgot the music. It's not. Brats! They're getting in your dirt here. Buggers. The out, outside eats work, but he does a little bit each year to, uh, it's sturdy. Eh, huh? Yeah, this year I want to try to get the windows in. And what are you putting on the outside? I don't know yet. He'll figure something oh, out. I don't but know. it's in progress still. Yeah, it's no easy progress. Okay, maybe I'm going to heat up the rest of the hash browns. Throw them in the oven. Arr. Huh? All they seen was my nose. This is leftover from the weekend. It's we had uh, chish kebab, chicken. chicken and steak. So I'm gonna make Caesar salad, chicken wraps. Mm. And then you can bring that uh, to work for your lunch mm. tomorrow. All of that? Well, the steak. Oh. I mean, not the. I'm chicken. gonna say I did. I'm be... gonna throw this in the oven to warm. I'll just throw it in the microwave. Microwave? I just need to warm it up to put in the, just to take the chill off. Just a little one on top. You're chewing gum in their ear, Bruce. Oh, sorry. God, can't you hear yourself? <laughs> Sound Talk. like a cow. <laughs> 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 I don't realize how much I'm chewing gum. <laughs> Just take the chill off to put in the salad. That's all. You should be putting it in the oven. Why? I don't know. Just make you more work. Oh, it's good, eh? Mm -hmm. Good stuff. I think you got a husband that loves you. Good thing I have a husband that barbecues that on the campfire. Is that Thank me? you, Lord. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. I can taste the campfire in it. I appreciate you. I may not show it, but I do. <laughs> what are we eating? Oh, this won't take long. Go put the girls to bed. Got anything? Oh, I'll use Bring in your drill. I'm asking them. Ooh, it's getting cold out there, you guys. I'm asking them to hang some stuff up for me. And keeps forgetting to bring his drill in the house. Okay, I'm gonna go cut up this lettuce. We'll get our salad made. I love a salad spinner. Do you guys love a salad spinner? Just throw everything in there. And it's such... Oh, it's a game changer in my kitchen. It's one of the things I wouldn't go without. Yeah. Because you can just cut everything up and just throw it in the, in the spinner and wash everything at once. So much easier. I was glad I didn't have to cook much today. That was a nice break. We cut the rest of this red onion. I oh, love, 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 love red onion in my salads. Uh huh. 
couldn't imagine salads without red onions. And remember what I said, you guys. Take that middle piece out because that's the hot stuff. I hope y'all you had a good Saturday and a nice Sunday dinner. I'm just going to cut it like that for the wraps. Just throw it right in there with your lettuce and we can wash it, everything together. I hope it doesn't snow. It feels so cold. I guess we lost our warm weather, didn't we? I try not to give the girls too many onions because if you give them a lot of onions for scraps, your eggs will taste like onion -y, and it's not good for when you're baking, right? Yeah, so I try to limit their onion intake. Go fill this with water, fill it up with water, and then rinse it out, and then spin it out, and then it'll be ready. I'm just going to cut this chicken in smaller pieces for the Caesar chicken salad wraps. It's so good, you guys. Nothing better than meat cooked on the fire. I should have filmed it, but it was dark when he did this. Mm. It was so good. Oh! I'm excited about getting the gardens. Well, he does the garden work and I do the cooking work with the garden stuff. So it works out because we're teamwork. I'm terrible at, I don't like to do weeding because I there's so many bugs. And it makes me itch. So that's a good thing he likes all that. Yeah. Okay. I think that looks good. I got it all cut. Okay. want to show you when you use a salad spinner see the see how the salad gets washed really good and then it gets spun out so it's dry it's not wet when you spin it it's been worth it to have a salad spinner in here for two wraps. I think that's enough. Try to get some of that onion. Okay. I got some bacon. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. A 
in the chicken. They'll save me one for tomorrow. Okay. Then. Caesar salad dressing. These are so good, you guys, and they're so much cheaper to make at home than buy in the, at the restaurant. Mm hmm. Do a, a mix. Definitely need more dressing. I think that'll be enough. Put some pepper in there too. Okay, give that a mix. See that, you guys? Okay. bit of bacon left for tomorrow. Bruce will take the steak and then I'll take I'll have a Caesar salad tomorrow with the leftover chicken. This is how they do it in the restaurant. But they charge you ten bucks for one. Yeah. Look at all that chicken you're getting here. And it's been cooked on the fire. You get that smoky taste. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be good. Mm -hmm. Let me get some plates. the wrap you do the bring it in over squish it squish it squish it squish it wrap bring it over squish it in squish it squish it squish it squish it Okay. Uh, scissors. 
Or not scissors. Uh, a knife. I'm going to cut it for you guys. So you can see the beauty. See that you guys how much you gonna pay for that huh there we go those hash browns should be warmed up by now I got a wrap for tomorrow for my dinner and then I'll just roast the steak. Okay, let me turn you around. That, my friends, is Sunday dinner. Chicken Caesar wraps with homemade hash browns. Let's eat, Bruce. Yeah, I gotta get my nails out of my pocket. Okay, guys, don't move. I got you propped up. Let's give this a bite. I forgot my fork. Yeah. <laughs> Better than the ones you'll get in the restaurant. Give these ones but try just cut your chicken up in pieces cook it in the oven if you don't have a campfire what are you doing you're trying to knock my phone down no by jumping no I was I, I, something was biting me homemade is always better oh yes I agree 100% mm. Mm-hmm. To try it. Oh. Potatoes are delicious. Try the try a bite so I can you can tell them how it is. Why? So I can shut the camera off mm -hmm. and eat. Mm -hmm. Mm. What is it? Chicken Caesar salad wrap. It's delicious. Made it before. Just tell them if it's good or not. Okay, we'll come back when we have our dessert. Two thumbs up. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay, guys, here's the lunar cake. Let's bring Bruce a piece and let's see what he thinks of it. Okay, he's going to try it. Look at Sandy. <laughs> oh my God. It's best to serve with a little bit of ice cream or you can use a little bit of um, whipped cream. Whipped cream, yes. Is it stand up to your standards, son? Three thumbs. Give us a, some, a thumbs up. Three thumbs up. Three thumbs up. There you go, guys. 
I was going to say good night. Good night. I hope you have a lovely, lovely Sunday. Say good night, Sandy. We'll see you guys soon in the Mark. next one.